latte art that involves using a tool, like a thermometer or a toothpick, maybe some chocolate powder on top, and drawing designs into the cup. It can be a really simple and effective way to get some designs into the cup when you're starting out. So let's look at some techniques. So now we're going to look at etching rosettas into your coffee. Again, set your, set your crema carefully. Try not to leave any white on the surface. Keep it nice and brown and fill the cup all the way up. Once the cup's full, now grab your chocolate shaker. Cover half the coffee with chocolate. Grab your thermometer. And in a swirling pattern, you can create rosettes. Now let's look at chasing hearts. This is getting hearts in the cup without free pour. So again, set your crema nice and carefully. Keep all the brown on the surface, no white at all. Fill the cup all the way to the top. Notice the jug is nice and high. Then get a spoon. Carefully spoon out a few blobs. One more off centre. Now use your thermometer to finish it off. These three in one swoop. And the last one by itself. Now let's look at how to etch a butterfly into the cup. There's a little bit of free pour involved in this. Again, you want a nice white blob in the center. So set your crema carefully. Lean the jug forward. Get that blob nice and centered. And we'll etch in the rest. Start down the bottom and just drag two lines in carefully. This will become the butterfly's tail. Drag the wings in from the side. And drag each one out. I'm wiping with my cloth with every thermometer stroke to keep it clean. Now take some white from the centre and give it to the antenna. Now we're going to look at a pattern called swirls. I've got enough milk in here for just over one cup, but I want to keep some foam. So I'm going to separate out a little bit of that foam into another jug. Now, pour into the center of your crema as always. Set it carefully, but just keep it brown on top, no white. Fill the cup all the way to the top. Now, Grab a spoon, I'm going to use that foam. Scoop the foam out and run it carefully in a line along the surface. Make one line with your foam and then make another going across the other way. A little bit more foam and put small dots in each quadrant. Now grab your thermometer, start at the centre and swirl your way all the way to the outside. Now I'm going to show you how to do the pig design. It's part free pour and part etch. You want to start by pouring a cradled heart into the cup. 
carefully set your crema. Start that first blob, come back and push the second one into it. And now we'll etch and finish it off. Drag some white up, which will become his tail. In the first blob, drag out some ears. Pick up some brown crema and draw a circle nose. Get some more crema in his nostrils. And two piggy eyes. And grab a little bit more white and you can turn it. Now I'm going to show you a favourite of mine, the dragon. Again, part free pour and part etch. Start by setting your crema. Then what you want to do is a rosetta but off to one side couple of leaves down the side of the cup and then lean the jug forward and just create a white line that will become the neck and the head in a second. Now let's finish him off. Drag out some spikes. I'm just going to clean up his head, make it a little bit bigger. Pick up some white and get some smoke coming from his mouth. And grab some brown. 